Good day everybody, this is Nelka Rocco again and I received a very interesting question from my YouTube subscriber Mr. Clement Zaninovic. He asked me, hi, I look also on your Udemy video. I, I'm wondering when we use perpendicular illuminance or can you give some example? Because I posted this how to add calculation surfaces. So I thought also, what is the difference between perpendicular illuminance and uh, horizontal illuminance? So I checked in Dialog's knowledge base and I checked the difference between the two. So for the horizontal illuminance, that is the light that hits a horizontal surface. And for the perpendicular illuminance, it is the vertical light hitting on a horizontal surface. Okay, so it's like almost the same, but you will get confused with this icon or a little icons here. You can see if I enlarge it, they said the horizontal illuminance is something like this. So I'm going to use a brush. Okay, so this horizontal illuminance is something like this is the light on a horizontal plane. <laughs> and the other one is for the perpendicular is something like this. So this is the light on a vertical light actually on a horizontal plane. And if you can also notice, it says on the vertical, it's also something like this. And it's so crazy. So this is the light on a vertical plane. So Dialax is really crazy using a diagonal um, lines instead of saying this is the light on the horizontal plane, like or horizontal, something like this. And uh, the lights... On, this is the perpendicular or this is the light on the horizontal plane because the horizontal is horizontal like an, uh, a flat ground and you can say our dialogue team could say this is the, the light from the for the vertical plane <laughs> okay so that's why um Mr. Clement is confused and he asked me to how how are we going to use this? Uh, horizontal illuminance and perpendicular illuminance. Actually, he's concerned about this horizontal illuminance. Okay, so let's go and try this one because I never try this one because I always use only the vertical and the horizontal. And I thought, how about the ramp? For example, a ramp. You have a project of ramp and you want to achieve the say uh, 20 lux or 50 lux on the ramp. So let's see and try it. So I'm going to use one of my rooms here because this is the project I am working on. So let's just use one room, for example, this balcony. Okay. Okay, so I'm here now at the balcony and let's use the fast plane so I, we can just um, uh, do something about it fast. So what I'm going to do is I will create a calculation object like this. And this is for, say, the horizontal. So I'll, I will label this one as horizontal now. Okay. And then I will create another one. So I'm just going to copy and paste this one. Control C and Control V. And then I will label this one now as perpendicular. Okay. So let's see what will happen and what is the effect of these two. And I have two luminaires for this one. You can see I have uh, these two fittings here. Okay. Let's, let's, let's just leave it like that. So this one is for the horizontal plane. And this one is for the perpendicular illuminance. This is horizontal illuminance and this is perpendicular illuminance. Okay, you can see it here is changing in here in the side. Okay, so let's run a calculation and let's see how, how the effect of these two kind of calculation surfaces differs from each other. All right, so you can see here now that for a calculation surface number five, the horizontal, it says 230 lux. And for the perpendicular one, it's also 229 lakhs, almost 230 lakhs also. And uh, yeah, nothing is differs from each other. So yeah, nothing. And what if I tilted this one? Say, for example, I will make this one as a ramp 
for example. So I will rotate this one into, let's say, 15 degrees. Okay, that's too much for a round. Let's make it 10 degrees. And then let's make it up for a while. So let's move it up. Okay, so you can see it there. So if you go to the elevation view, you can see this too. Okay, because my room is also an obs obscure shape. Or it's also in the diagonal shape. Okay, so now we have um, horizontal plane, illuminance, and a diagonal, which I labeled as for the calculation surface of perpendicular. Okay, so let's calculate. Okay, so for the horizontal, it's 268. Is it the horizontal? Oh, sorry, this is for the... That is the one that I created as a ramp, for example. So this is the... Um, a horizontal illuminance and this is the usual perpendicular illuminance so the horizontal becomes higher yeah of course because this part is closer to the luminary now that's why it becomes higher so um i am not sure where to use it but uh based on the definition like uh, perpendicular illuminance is a vertical light heating on a horizontal surface. So it's more of like you have a down light and you are calculate, calculating on the table. While for the horizontal illuminance, it's the light that hits our horizontal surface. So either your uh, luminaire is from the side table or a lampshade or from the wall and not on the ceiling like for the perpendicular illuminance either way actually the more concern is how you place your calculation surface so either your luminaire is on the wall or on the side of the table or on the ceiling the most important thing to consider is how you place your calculation surface and that's it so let me know if you have better answer to this one so for you clement that is only thing that I can say right now. The difference of the two is nothing. <laughs> nothing. Actually, nothing. You already saw that it's already 230 lux for both of the horizontal and perpen perpendicular illuminance. Okay, so that's it for now. And if you have comments or suggestions, you can correct me. Send me an email to nelka underscore at yahoo.com or send your comment here in my YouTube channel. Um, yeah, and let's see and let's uh, inform each other so we can learn each other. Okay, so yep, don't forget to check my Udemy courses about Dialogs Evo and other uh, application design and also my books in Amazon. Don't forget that. And yeah, of course, don't forget to subscribe. And our next topic is going to be a question from another subscriber, which is about uh, the difference of illuminance yeah it's related here and the luminance what is the difference of the two okay so yeah that's it for now and i'll see you again on the next video mm -hmm.